just found a brand new AI tool that replaces both Canva and Photoshop because you can have it create posters, you can have it create social media posts, and so much more in seconds. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what this tool is, how to use it, and a bunch of crazy use cases that you could begin to use this for today. Now that brand new AI tool that I'm talking about is going to be Skyworks new posters agent because if we come over to Skywork and you click on posters right here, you can now describe exactly what you want to create. And this is going to use Nano Banana Pro. It's powered by Nano Banana Pro in order to create social media posts for you, in order to create flyers for you, posters, whatever you want. So if we come over here and put in a prompt like this, I'm going to get this to create a high-end luxury holiday party flyer for my company party. And we can see over here that I do have some very specific things that I wanted to include. I wanted to include company holiday party. It's December 20th, 6 p.m. It's going to be at Carbone, Miami. And then we have a bunch of other design notes. We have things that we do not want to have in here. And what this is now going to do is we could send this off and this is going to create this poster for us in just a few seconds. In the past, I would have had to use Canva to do this. I would have had to use Photoshop to do this, but we don't have to do that anymore because now this feature can create things for us. We can edit it incredibly quickly and it follows directions way better than a designer would. I'm sure if you've used a designer in the past, you've had the struggle of like trying to tell this person to do something and they do the wrong thing or trying to get them to follow your direction, but they keep following their own direction and you end up having to find somebody else Skywork Posters Agent solves that. As we can see right here, literally in just a few seconds, this went through and this created this right here. You can see that not only this is exactly what we wanted, but we could also come over here and we could edit this however we want. So if we wanted to add this into the chat, we would just click right here and then we would be able to reference this inside of the chat in order to get it to change things, to get it to edit things. Or if you wanted to make more specific edits, what you could do is come over here, click on chat with poster and you can come over here and change things. For example, let's say we're going to grab this right here. Now we could say we want to change this. So change this to look like 12, 20, 25. We could click on run and then this is going to go ahead and this is going to change things. Now, I also went through and messed around with some other things like removing the background in just specific parts, which it did. I messed around with some other things like getting it to remove everything except for just the text right here to be able to isolate things. And as we could see, this now gives us multiple different variations. So if we wanted to then combine things or we wanted to change other things, it makes it incredibly easy to do that because you have all these different variations all right here and all these different versions, which again is way better than something like Photoshop or Canva. Because if you use Photoshop or Canva, you know once you change something, you're just trying to reverse tons of different times and it's kind of a pain, but look like this. This just made this edit in seconds. And this right here was kind of a simple task because if we come back over here and we open up a new chat with Skywork, come over here to posters, we can actually get this to do some other pretty cool things. So we could add in web search right here. Well, this will actually go through and search for things and find details in order to actually add them into the social media post or into the poster, or into the flyer, or whatever we're creating. In addition to that, we could click on add more right here, and you could see that we could actually add in preset prompts. So if you have prompts that you are using for your branding or for your business, you could actually reuse them and save them incredibly easy. And if you wanted to, you could actually upload reference images right here, which is incredibly powerful. So the next thing that I'm going to get this to do is I'm going to get this to create a social media post, but I'm going to get it to do a web search with this. So here's what we're going to say. We're going to say, research the top five crypto coins right now and make an infographic that displays the price and the coin. Now, what this is going to do, this is going to go off. This is going to do the research for us because we have web search actually turned on. We could see this is going through. This is going to help us research. It is then going to determine that research. And then from there, it's going to use that posters agent in order to actually generate that infographic for us. Now we could see right here that this is actually doing this 
all at one time. So this is going through, this is looking up the top crypto coins, and we could see that it's using the MCP. So this went through by going through and trying to gather that data, but now it's actually looking at more specific current price data by going through and figuring out exactly what it is on coin market cap and it's checking it here. And if we come over to add more right here, we can actually show what we want this to look like. So we're gonna do financial dashboard style. We're going to do one one square. We'll click on continue. And now this is gonna go through and actually generate this poster for us. And we can see right here, this went and actually pulled the real time prices of all the most popular coins right now, which is pretty incredible that it did that. And now it's gonna make that infographic. And now just like that, this infographic is made and this actually looks pretty incredible. And by the way, we could download this if we click right here. If we click on this, we could share the file if we wanna share it to Facebook, to X, we wanted to copy the link, or we can make it visible in search engines, we can make it public, we can make it private, or if we click on this right here, it actually expands it. So we could see it in a bigger view, but we still have the editor right here. So I'm gonna come over here and I am actually going to edit something. So we're gonna grab this over here. I'm gonna get rid of December, 2024. And I'm gonna say, make this December, 2025. And then this is going to go through and this is actually going to adjust this right here. Now, just like that, this went through and this adjusted this. And again, we have these different variations so we can compare, didn't change anything except that one specific thing that I asked it to change. Now, before we get into the other use cases, and there's gonna be several of them that you could use this tool for, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pin comment below and get started with Skywork today for yourself. And the value with Skywork doesn't stop there because Skywork also lets you perform research, build websites, build out complex spreadsheets, and so much more. Okay, now the first use case that I wanted to show you with this is pretty powerful. You can actually come over here and let's say that we're looking at this creator right here, Healthy Emmy. We are going to come over and we're going to look at how she's actually currently creating the covers that she's putting on her Instagram Reels. So if we come over here, what I am gonna do is I am going to take a screenshot of this right here. We're going to come back over into Skywork and we're gonna use this in order to create a social media post. So we're gonna come over to the posters feature right here. We are then going to come over here. We're going to grab that screenshot that I just showed you. So we're gonna click on upload right here, upload from local, and we need to come into my recents right here, and we're gonna grab this screenshot. And we're gonna say, in this style, please create a social media cover for Instagram, nine by 16 format, that is around stop eating yellow potatoes now. So. If we come over here, we look at the original, it's stop eating sweet potatoes now. So we're going to change it to be yellow potatoes. We have the source in here. In addition to that, we could also save this preset as a prompt right here. That's how you actually get it in order to save right here. But we're gonna click on this right here and then this is gonna go off and this is gonna create us a social media cover or social media post that we can then use for Instagram, for TikTok, for YouTube shorts, for Pinterest, for tons of different platforms. We can see that just like that, this went through and this actually created this. Now, there are two things that I don't like about this. One, I think that stop should be a little bit higher so there shouldn't be this awkward spacing here. And the potato is to some degree off of the screen. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on add to chat right here and I'm gonna say, please get rid of the big gap between STO and P. Then I'm gonna put in addition, to that, stop the potatoes from going outside of the box. It might be easiest just to make them smaller. Now, what this is going to do is this is actually going to reference this image and this is going to make these changes for us incredibly quickly. While that's doing that, I'm gonna open up a new window and I'm actually gonna get started on the next thing that we are going to do. So if we come over here into my recent files, I have right here this flyer for this golf outing. And what I wanna do is just make it a lot better. So you don't only have to generate flyers from scratch like I showed you in the first use case that we went through when I was originally showing you the tool, you can also get it to modernize things. So we're gonna come over here, local upload, we're gonna click on upload again. We're gonna grab this and we're gonna say, please modernize this flyer for this golf tournament and make it look a lot more professional. Now what this is gonna do is this is gonna go through, it's gonna reference that image that we put in here and this is gonna create a way better flyer for us. 
Just like that, we could see that this went through and this fixed that. Now, in addition to that, if we come over here, we could see that this did do an awesome job at modernizing the golf tournament flyer that we had. If we pull up the original again right here, we could have this over here. This looks like just not professional at all. This one right here, it looks way better, way more professional, and I really like this. Now, the last thing that I did wanna show you is how we could get this to go through and create infographics in order to make really complex topics really easy to understand. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna say, explain E equals MC squared in an infographic for a third grader. Now, what this is going to do, this is going to go through, this is going to research E equals MC squared. It is going to understand what it is and how to explain it to a third grader. And then it's going to create an image for this, which is really powerful because you could use this in books. You could use this to teach people. You could use this for anything that you want, which is quite incredible because this allows you to take these really complex topics, break them down with AI, and then generate images or assets based on that. Now, just like that, this went through and this created this infographic, which is pretty insane. I mean, they even put Einstein in here, which is nuts. This clearly got the message that this needs to be for somebody that's in the third grade. And what's really amazing to me is that this has all of the spelling, all the sizing, all of everything correct. It made everything pop. And this is quite impressive that it was able to do this in just a few seconds. If I was doing this inside of Canva or Photoshop, it probably would have taken me hours to do. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I would strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through a bunch of other use cases that you could use Skywork for because they have tons of other features that I didn't cover in this video. If that sounds interesting, check it out right here.